Iran begins preparations to boost uranium enrichment. Tehran's first step raises pressure on European governments fighting to save accord. Iran began preparations to increase its uranium enrichment capacity on Tuesday in the strongest response yet to Donald Trump's decision to pull out of the nuclear deal Tehran signed with world powers. Ali Akbar Saleh, one of Iran's vice presidents and head of the country's atomic organization, told reporters that the first step was taken and we have started ground operations today. Iran's state television would broadcast pictures from Nadan's, Iran's main uranium enrichment site, on Wednesday with regard to production of new centrifuges, he added. Mr. Saleh said the measures would not violate the 2015 nuclear deal, adding that Iran would only ramp up uranium enrichment if the accord collapsed. But his statement will increase pressure on European governments battling to save the accord. A day earlier, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Iran's supreme leader, ordered officials to speed up preparations to deploy equipment for advanced nuclear enrichment. Mr. Saleh said his organization was tasked with renovating a plant to produce uranium hexafluoride, or UF6, which is needed to produce nuclear fuel for reactors or weapons, and put it on stream with minimum rather than maximum capacity. Iran's atomic agency has also started preparations to domestically secure nuclear fuel for the Bush or power plant that needs 280 tons of uranium raw material, and is readying infrastructure to produce advanced centrifuges. As the Supreme Leader said, we remain committed to the JKPOA nuclear deal, but we cannot accept a battered JKPOA and will not renegotiate it, Mr. Saleh said. Under the terms of the 2015 deal, Iran agreed to limit its nuclear activities in return for many Western sanctions on the Islamic Republic being lifted. But Mr. Trump's decision to pull the U.S. out of the accord last month and reimpose U.S. sanctions on the Republic severely threatens Iran's ability to maintain any economic benefit from the deal. Some international companies, including Total, Italy's Daniele and France's Peugeot, have said they will suspend or pull out of their operations in the Republic if they are not protected from U.S. sanctions. Iran, which has complied with the nuclear accord, said it was willing to stay in the deal if its other signatories, France, the UK, Germany, the EU, Russia and China, could counter the impact of U.S. sanctions. The European signatories have been leading efforts to keep the deal alive, but Tehran's moves on enrichment have troubled diplomats. Majika Sajinsik, an EU spokesperson, said on first assessment Iran's announced steps on enrichment per se are not a violation of the JKPOA. But she warned, at this particularly critical juncture, they will not contribute to building confidence in the nature of the Iranian nuclear program. Another EU diplomat said the Iranian statements looked like a warning to all the remaining deal signatories of the growing risk that the deal could collapse. Tensions between Tehran and Washington could then escalate if the Trump administration pushed hard for further nuclear concessions while Tehran pressed ahead with its plan for expanding uranium enrichment. What happens then when the US discovers enrichment is going on? The diplomat asked. What is their plan B? Sigel Mandelker, U.S. Treasury Undersecretary, on Tuesday called on U.S. allies to add your voices to ours in condemning Iran's deceptive, exploitive, and destructive practices. In a speech, she highlighted a flurry of sanctions actions issued by the U.S. in recent weeks that have targeted the Iranian central bank. Iranian Airlines and a UAE-based currency exchange network that Treasury said was used to finance Iran's elite Quds force. France, the UK and Germany, together with Italy, have for several months been in talks with Iran as they seek to resolve the standoff.
The discussions have focused on Iran's alleged involvement in Yemen's civil war as the Islamic Republic's role in Middle East conflicts has been one of the Trump administration's main criticisms of Tehran. But Iran's leaders have so far resisted European pressure for negotiations on its ballistic missile program and involvement in Syria's seven-year war. Iran's reaction does not mean talks, with Europeans, have failed but it is for the other side not to think we can accept both, nuclear restrictions under, the deal and the sanctions, Mr. Salai said. For now, we will not do anything against the nuclear deal and, merely, prepare the infrastructure. The terms of the accord permit Tehran to increase its enrichment efficiency by the end of the next decade just before the deal is set to expire. By accelerating its preparations now, Iran will be able to ramp up production more quickly after that date. Additional reporting by Kadim Shubber in Washington.